What's up everybody, this is Francis over here from PE Reviews and Playerstance.com. Welcome to another PE discussion and today we're going to be talking about the news that Koji Igarashi has basically left Konami for good and he's actually starting up his own gaming studio with plenty of um, good intentions behind it. So I'll go ahead and break down the story for those who haven't seen it yet and of course there'll be links in the description below so you can go up and read on exactly what um, Koji Igarashi said about leaving Konami and uh, what his future plans are. But I'll go ahead and summarize things for you. So basically, Koji uh, Igarashi, he is the producer of Castlevania Symphony of the Night and many of the other Castlevania games after that point when he got there, I think in the mid 90s, 95, 94, you know, he was really young when he first got there. And he basically produced one of the best Castlevania games, if not the best Castlevania game of all time, with Symphony of the Night on the PlayStation. What he did, he basically, that game basically coined the term, you know, Metroidvania that we hear now, you know, where it's going to mix between, uh, of course, the classic Castlevania and the Metroid style of gameplay with the large maps and the going and the new abilities and the other, the high jumping and all that good stuff that Castlevania and Metroid does. So... Koji Igarashi has been working there forever. You know, he worked all the way throughout, you know, the 90s and the 2000s. And then that's when they decided to do the 3D Castlevania games with the outside studio, with the Western studio Mercury Steam. And for the past two years, he's basically been making um, smartphone games, you know, um, mobile games. And he had about enough of it. And it doesn't seem like they're going to give him the opportunity to make another Castlevania game. So he decided that he's going to pack up his bags and leave uh, Konami for good. Koji Igarashi leaving Konami is fantastic for Nintendo fans, for gamers alike, for 3DS fans, for everybody. And I'll give you guys some reasons why. Now he can start up his own studio, go through Kickstarter, which he already said that he might possibly do, and Nintendo fans can finally get back to playing Castlevania games like we, like we want to. Um, the NES was synonymous with Castlevania. Of course, Super Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo, we had the Castlevanias on the uh, N64. Uh, GameCube took a little bit of a break. We got one, I think we got one on with Judgment on the Wii, but then the, the DS, the regular DS, had three fantastic, and the Game Boy Advance had multiple fantastic Castlevania experiences, especially Order of Ecclesia and um, Dawn of Saul were really good, and Portrait of Ruin wasn't bad either, but um, great experiences, and the fact that, you know, Konami wouldn't let him at least remake those in HD and release that on the digital storefronts from, like, PSN, Xbox Live, uh, Wii U, that, it, it's just mind-boggling that they wouldn't let him at least do that. So now that he can go off and do his own thing, this is exactly what happened with Ke uh, Keiji Inafune. With Capcom, he got tired of the, the BS, he got tired of just being cast aside and not being allowed to make a Mega Man game and all of his games being canceled that he was working on. So he decided, I'm going to go off and look where that's gotten us now. Kenji Inafune, he's, he's making Mighty Number no. 9. That game looks fantastic. Classic Mega Man style. Can't wait to play it on all platforms. And even at the very beginning, Kenji Inafune knows that Nintendo fans like Mega Man. So of course, from the very beginning, it was PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii U from the very beginning. So right then and there, Nintendo fans knew if they funded this thing, even if it hit the minimum, they're gonna get to be able to play the game. You know, plus we got a 3DS version of that. This can be the same thing that can happen with Koji Igarashi. And it can even go further. I mean, Keiji Inafune even goes further than that. Not only are we getting Mighty Number no. 9, and we're getting a, a Azure Striker Gunvolt. If you guys haven't heard of this game, check it out. It'll be in the description below. That game looks awesome. It's an action 2D action type game. You have all different types of power-ups. Trust me, it's been, it's really cool. It's, it's not getting a ton of press right now, but there's been a lot of hands-on from places. They say it's freaking awesome and it looks great. But um, we're getting two of those. So Wii U game, my number nine, 3DS games, fantastic from Keiji Inafune. Now, Koji Igarashi can do the same thing. He knows where his fan base is. There's gonna, there's a lot of classic fans, a lot of Nintendo fans that love his stuff from the Game Boy Advance, that love his stuff from uh, the DS, that love those games and they want to play them on their Wii U's and their 3DS's. And if he starts up his own his own um, studio, which he will do, and he goes through Kickstarter, we all know it's going to be a 
Metroidvania. He can't say Castlevania now because Konami banned him from saying Castlevania when talking about his game. So now a Metroidvania style game, he can create a whole new protagonist in a whole different setting with a bunch of different power-ups and do what he needs to do and have it be basically like the spiritual successor to Symphony of the Night or the spiritual successor to Order of Ecclesia, maybe even co-op in there. He can use the modern systems. He can, oh man, there's so much stuff Koji Igarashi can do with the Nintendo 3DS and with the Wii U and of course all the other systems. And there's so much stuff that he can do and I can't wait till he finally announces his Kickstarter and puts his team together. Like I said, I, I saw some people on my website basically saying this is horrible. You know, this is this is a sad day or, you know, that the fact that he couldn't stay with coming. No, this is a great day. I am ecstatic for Koji Igarashi and I am ecstatic for the future of the Metroidvania style games because I need me some Metroidvania because Castlevania Lords of Shadow, I love the first one, but the second one's a stinker and I want to go back to the, uh, I was playing, a, I was actually playing, I went out and bought Order of Ecclesia because I was like, I didn't ever finish that game. I went out and bought it and I've been playing some Order of Ecclesia. It's fantastic. Absolutely awesome. So bring that back. Nothing wrong with Koji, uh, Koji Igarashi doing his thing on his own with his own team. This is a good day. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you guys happy? Are you guys sad? Do you guys, what do you guys think will come out of this? Is there good things to come with Kickstarter or, um, Basically, maybe he sells funds. I'd probably not do his self fund, but is there good things to come in the future from Koji Igarashi and on Nintendo systems and on all other systems as well? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, make sure you like this video. If you liked it, that really helps us out as far as spreading our content around on player essence and PE reviews. Also, make sure you subscribe if you're someone new. I pretty much upload videos all the time. You're gonna get reviews, let's plays, random videos, news reports, all sorts of good stuff right here on PE Reviews and on PlayerAssist.com. And like I said, make sure you check out the description. That'll have links to all the stuff that I talked about today and even more details. And check out PlayerAssist.com. Plenty of news on all systems, all different types of games. We got everything right there. All right, so that basically wraps it up for this video. I'm Francis, and we will see you guys next time. Peace.